Yo, it's Swiggy. So Megami finally summoned my Haraga, and it ended up getting washed by Sukuna. But this is the seventh time he's tried to summon this thing in the show. Meaning, this is the seventh time that bro basically tried to off himself. So in this video, let's recap all the times that Megami was about to summon my Haraga. In other words, let's recap every time Megami was about to off himself. So Yuji meets Megami after his granddad dies, and Megami tells Yuji to give him Sukuna's finger because, well, it's a special grade curse object, aka niggas probably gonna die. So Yuji hands over the box, but uh, there ain't nothing in there. So Megami's like, hey bro, where's the finger? And Yuji tells him that his friends are gonna take the talisman off the finger at school tonight, and that's when Megami starts looking shook because he knows them dumbass niggas not. So they rush to the school, and Megami tells Yuji to stay outside while he goes to save Yuji's friends, or at least he thought he could save Yuji's friends. But luckily, Yuji is a dumbass and he busts in to try to save his homegirl. So Megami and Yuji are fighting the curse spirit on the roof when Yuji decides to eat Sukuna's finger to get curse energy. But um, it don't turn out that way because uh, Sukuna wakes up and he ready to start the slaughter. I mean, dude comes out asking where are all the women and children. But Yuji takes his body back just as Megami is <laughs> getting ready to summon Maharaga. Now keep in mind, Megami is basically gonna get smacked by Magaraga because he didn't tame it. And he is frame one ready to lose his life because Sukuna has awakened. But well, luckily Gojo shows up and stops this nigga from unaliving himself. But keep in mind y'all, this is just episode two. All right, so boom. Yuji, Megami, and Bar are going into this jail because a curse room has appeared and they need to save the survivors. So Ishiji tells them, now when y'all go in there, keep in mind that if you run into a special grade, y'all niggas need to run. So they head inside and what do they run into? A special grade curse period. And who decides to stay and fight it while his friends run even though Ishiji said run? Yuji. So Yuji's getting dragged by the special grade and then ends up switching into Sukuna, who turns it into Slice Hand. And you know what? I was watching the last episode on Crunchyroll and they call this domain expansion Malevolent Kitchen. And at this point, call this nigga Chef, cause he be cooking. So Megami is outside waiting on Yuji to come out and he senses that the special grade was beaten, but that's when Sukuna walks from behind him and says, hey, your boy ain't coming back. It's me now, nigga. So they start fighting and Sukuna starts flinging Megami like a rag doll. Now, y'all in the audience, I want to take this time to point out an anime trope that you may not have noticed, but whenever a nigga make this pose in a fight, he about to put somebody to sleep, cause good lord. I don't know how Megami is still alive at this point, because what human do you know is getting sent through two buildings like that and living? So Sukuna has Megami corner and he asks Megami, bro, why are you such a coward with all this talent? And then... Megami's curse energy starts to increase. This nigga was about to summon Maharaga, but Yuji wakes up before he gets ready to summon it, and instead of Megami dying, Yuji, um... So Megami and Nabara are training for the exchange event when Toto and Ma show up at the school. So Toto starts talking about how he doesn't want his last exchange event to be boring, and tells Megami to tell him what kind of woman he likes. And if his answer sucks, he gonna beat his ass. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Because he likes women who are tall and got that ass on them. So Megami says, I don't care how she looks. As long as she's got morals, that's all I want. Now, when I first saw this and Toto started crying for a second, I thought, oh, Megami made a friend. They're bonding over the idea of a good woman. But then Toto starts beating the shit out of Megami. Now, let me preface this by saying, Toto was not trying to kill this nigga before any of this started, but you're sure fooling me. However, Toto didn't realize that he might be down bad, but Megami is down horrendous. Because when Megami got back into that corner, that cursed energy started to increase. And you know what that means. Luckily, just like every other time, somebody came to stop him. So the exchange event is happening right now, and Megami is fighting this monk looking dude that can use blood manipulation like Choso. And then this big wall of wood springs up, and Inumaki looks at them like, Boy, So Megami, Inumaki, and Noritoshi are running from Hanami, and Inumaki's throat is on its last leg. Alright man, look, what y'all want me to say? This nigga throat bleeding. Look! So Inumaki is down, Noritoshi can't stand up to Hanami, and it's just... Megami. So in this situation, based on the last few scenarios, what do you think Megami is about to do? Sacred treasure swinging ring, he getting ready to off himself again. But that's when Inumaki comes in and hits Hanami with the, oh my God. 
Okay, so this entire video, we've been talking about other people stopping Megumi from offing himself and summoning Maharaja. But let's talk about the time Megumi stopped himself. So the gang is investigating another curse incident that's probably linked to one of Sukuna's fingers. But this time, it's at Megumi's old school. So the gang goes to investigate this bridge to try to get the curse spirits to come out, but nothing happens. So right after this, they found out that one of the people who was cursed was Megumi's sister. And Megumi decided that he's gonna go take out the curse spirit by himself. Or he was if Yuji and Nabara saw right through his plan. So he started finding the curse spirit and this ugly green bleed looking thing comes in. But he starts getting the left right sleep all night from Yuji. And Nabara uh, gets pulled out of the barrier. But I promise, she's way more useful than Sakura was. So Megumi beats the mold curse and then it turns into a special grade. Because, well, one of Sukuna's fingers awakened. And this thing hits him so hard that he has a flashback from when Gojo was beating his ass during their training. And Gojo basically says, hey bro, stop trying to off yourself. You could really be running fades if you stop being such a bitch. And then we cut to Megumi and boy, that curse energy starts to increase. But then Megumi says, you know what? Fuck it! Domain expansion! I'm about to run them pockets, nigga. And that's when Megumi goes ham and starts blitzing the fucking special grade. And no lie, for his domain to be incomplete, Megumi really got them hands on him. So Megumi kills the curse spirit, and that leads us to the final part of the video, which is... So Nanami and them getting their pockets ran in Dagon's domain expansion. And that's where Megumi shows up with his domain expansion. So Megumi tells Nanami that he can put a hole in Dagon's domain by using his domain. But what we didn't know was that the hole that Megumi created brought out the demon himself, Toji Fushiguro. So Toji flash steps out of the air and grabs playful heaven. And this is where Dagon fucked up. Cause he looks at Toji and says, I feel no curse energy from him. He gotta be free. But little did he know, Toji is one of them. So he blitz his Dagon and smacks him into the seawall that he made with his speed. Now viewers, listen, this is when you know that someone is about to get their ass beat in JJK. And that's when the screen dims. Because as soon as they cut the lights off, Toji became a better ninja than Naruto. Dagon threw the piranha at him and this nigga ate it and spit it out, then proceeds to blitz the rest of the piranhas. So Dagon pulls Toji on the water and summons some big old sea roaches. But Toji takes playful heaven and knocks the roaches on the back of the head and then proceeds to beat Dagon's ass again. I'm not gonna lie, I have seen people get beat in Jujutsu Kaisen, but I have never seen a cursed spirit get utterly embarrassed the way Toji doing Dagon. So Toji starts to sharpen play for heaven and then jabs it right through Dagon's head. And what I thought would be one more jab turned into a million. Good lord, somebody help him. Oh wait, he's dead. So after Toji beats the shit out of Dagon, he starts walking up real menacingly. Like, no lie, even I was scared watching this shit and I'm way in undisclosed state. And that's when Megumi gets flung out the window. And what happens next is what I call, um, child abuse. Cause Megumi thinks about fighting Toji, but then realize he needs to get the fuck up out of there because Toji is about to kill him. So he summons these bunnies and he tries to run away, but Toji is not letting that happen. And that's when Megumi decides he gotta fight. So Megumi tries to run the hands and no lie, bro, Megumi really got some hands on him. The only thing is he fighting Toji. But this is when I knew that Megumi had some real ones on his side. Cause these bunnies are the most gangster niggas in the show. Look at this one bunny right here. He tried to sneak Toji with the fucking metal pipe. But Toji just grabs and start using it to beat the other bunnies away. But then another one runs up and tries to give Toji the damn hands. But Toji just kind of bites him and throws him away. Now, at this point, my respect for these bunnies is at an all-time high. But they fighting Toji, so, I mean, they gotta die. So Toji stomps the ground and starts shooting the rocks at these niggas like they are bullets. So Toji goes back to knocking Megumi around Shibuya when Megumi realizes, all right, bruh, all the way I'm finna beat this nigga is if I go straight up at this dude. So he takes a stab from Toji and is getting ready to stab this nigga with this sword. And that's when Toji jumps back and remembers, oh shit, this is my child. And this was a really sentimental moment because Toji realized that it was Megumi, his son that he was feeling sell off to the Zenin clan. But what he didn't realize was Megumi was about to pack this nigga up with Maharaga. But this was the proof that I needed as to if Toji was actually Megumi's father. Because Megumi was about to kill himself so that he could kill Toji, but Toji said, nah, me first. And that's it. Basically, the next time he actually summoned Maharaga, we had one of the best fights in the anime. And if you are still here, subscribe to the page. If you want to support the channel, sub to the Patreon, and also follow me on Twitter, where I'm going to start posting polls for who the next video is going to be about. Anyway, Rome Aldro.